Hi guys, so I'm going to read Adventure Comics number 269, The Green Arrow Story. So The Green Arrow, a quiver full of trick arrows, a brain full of clever ideas, a body full of steel spring strength, and a heart full of love for freedom and justice. This is the amazing comic book hero, the Wizard Archer. But are the feats he performs with his bow and arrow too incredible? For the answer, see what happens when... Green Arrow and Speedy have to decide on the skill of the comic book Archer. Green Arrow, here's a blow-up of one of my The Crazy Artist comic pages. I'll stick my reputation as an editor that no living Archer can perform such incredible feats. I'm not so sure. Speed and, Speedy and I will try out the wizard Archer stunts in real life. Then we'll see whether these comic book tricks are really fantastic. So fantastic. The Wizard Archer. So, this is in the comic. It says, I'll fire this trick arrow that'll inflate into the shape of a flying horse. Now, to lasso the flying horse with a lariat arrow as the Wizard Archer mounts his aerial steed. Now, I could take a shortcut to pursue the payroll bandits. Uh, the wind has drifted my flying horse into a perfect spot. Here comes the getaway car. That's really weird. And one day in Star City, as Oliver Queen and his young ward Roy Harper change into their famed costumes as Green Arrow and Speedy. Hurry, Roy. We're due at the offices of all Star Comics at noon. Boy, I'll sure enjoy this visit. Imagine meeting the writers and artists who draw and write and draw my favorite comic heroes. So, all Star Comics was like uh, the... Imp it was, I, I think by... By this comic, it was canceled, but it was the comic that had the Justice Society, and it was published by DC, though. But I know you're excited, Speedy, but don't forget we've been invited to All-Star Comics to pose for a poster to combat juvenile delinquency. Let's go. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the city, wish me luck, Mom. I'm showing my Wizard Archer drawings today to the editor of All-Star Comics. He needs a new feature for one of his magazines. I'm sure he'll like the Wizard Archer some. Well, the Green Arrow is my inspiration for the Wizard Archer. It, if it, the feature is one-tenth as terrific as Green Arrow, it'll sell. You always wanted to be a comic artist, Bill. I got a feeling your dream will come true today. But is this like a... Did he self in Bill Finger? Did he write this? Might be like a self-insert of uh, Bill Finger. I don't know. But an hour later at the office of All-Star Comics. Thank you, Green Arrow. We've got your picture. It'll appear in the back cover of next month's issue. Speaking of pictures, this mural is the greatest. Let me show you around, Speedy. Here's where the writers turn out the scripts for the comic book stories. Gosh, what terrific imaginations they must have to keep coming up with new ideas all the time. Presently. They they probably they probably ran out of ideas to, to have like of a story like this in real life. They probably had like completely ran out of ideas. But the artists draw whatever the writers writers tell them to do in, in their scripts. And the dialogue is carefully lettered into each picture panel. The art is then photographed onto metal plates and printed on four color presses. Gosh, Mr. Sloan. As the editor of All-Star Comics, you must do a terrific amount of work. But it's fun, Speedy. I discuss the stories with the writers, review the artwork, and let our production manager do the rest. That's in addition to my pet hobby, da dairy farming. I'm president of the Dairy League convention that opening, that's opening his exhibit tomorrow at the Star City Fairgrounds. I'm responsible for every exhibit, every building. Pardon, Mr. Sloan. There's a young artist, Bill Nixon, to see you. Oh, I almost forgot. This artist is trying to sell me a feature with his archer hero. I wish you'd see it, Green Arrow. I I'd value your opinion. Okay, Sloan, let's look at it. Shortly after. Imagine meeting you here, Green Arrow. Why, with all your feats, were inspiration for the wizard archer. Bah, what the Green Arrow does is real. But your character is absolutely incredible. Look at the crazy, unbelievable things he does. 
In this sequence, the side of an elephant parade balloon is torn open by a flagpole. So before the elephant collapses, the wizard archer stitches up the ripped sides with a needle arrow. Ridiculous. Here's another stupid scene. The wizard archer confronts three crooks across a billiard table. Our hero has only one arrow left. How can he knock out three villains with one shaft? He studies the billiard balls. He quickly notice, notes the position of the balls. He fires an arrow. The shot is perfectly angled. One ball hits three balls, which flies off the table, knocking out three crooks. Incredible. Sim simply incredible. Now comes the payoff. Some miners are trapped in a cave-in. Unless fresh air and rescuers reach them immediately, they, they'll die. Who performs this impossible task? The wizard archer, naturally. He fires a drill arrow right through the ground into the mine shaft. What nonsense! Our readers would laugh themselves sick at a fanta such fantastic rot. Sorry, son, no sale. Your hero, the wizard archer, is too unconvincing. Don't you agree with me, Green Arrow? The poor kid's so disappointed. disappointed. I must help him. I'm not sure, Sloane. Tell you what, we're going out, out on patrol. If Speedy and I find we can't use these three stunts in real situations, I'll agree with you. Excellent, and if you do duplicate him, I'll accept the Wizard Archer for publication. Later, as the arrow car cruises along Star City Parkway, we must make these this, those comic book arrow tricks come true for the young artist. G.A., look! There's our first chance to prove him right. The sight of that navy blimp has burst open. Helium is gushing out. The blimp will fall right into parkway traffic unless... Yes, Speedy. Unless we use needle arrows, just as the wizard archer did. Instantly, as the twins of the twanging bow fire two steel needle arrows, just as the wizard archer stitched up that elephant balloon, we'll sew up that blimp before all the gas leaves it as we were using an art aerial sewing machine. Zip, zip. Shortly after, at All-Star Comics. Flash, gr the Green Arrow just saved a falling blimp from disaster by sewing up its torn side with needle arrows. Good grief! He duplicated the Wizard Archer's stunt in real life. That afternoon, as the Green Arrow pursues a fleeing hold-up gang, they, uh, they, they punch our tires, quick! Run into the player ten planetarium! We'll hide there! Minutes later, hold up, Speedy. Those thieves are taking refuge in space. They can spring a trap that'll really send us out of this world. Yeah, yes, G.A., but look closely. Doesn't the layout of these planets remind you of something? G yes, of course. That billiard table seen in the Wizard Archer. If we can only hit the Earth Ball with enough force and give it the proper spin. Let's do it. Shortly, our billiard... Billiard stick arrows are hitting the cue ball hard enough to detach it from its fixed position. Click, click. Next, pow, yee, yow. A perfect shot, Speedy. One ball is chroming into another, sending them flying in all directions. We racked up the crooks. Later that day, you what? Say that again, Green Arrow? We used that artist billiard ball stunt Sloan to capture five gunmen. One more stunt to go. But as the day wears on into the night, it sounds like our missile arrow, whose radar device tracks down a moving object wherever it goes, just overtook that jewel thief. Yes, Speedy, but we still haven't found an occasion to duplicate the wizard archer's third stunt. Yo, pow. At midnight, our steel-tipped stepladder arrows will let us rescue that injured stork that settled down on top of the obelisk and can't fly away. But it looks like we won't be able to rescue that young artist. Maybe his drill arrow stunt was a little too wild to be encountered in real life. Poor kid. His wizard archer feature will never be printed. Next day at the fairgrounds, as Green Arrow meets editor Sloan, who is also the president of the Dairy League. Well, Sloan, your editorial opinion was correct. We couldn't dip duplicate wizard archer's third trick. Naturally. It was sheer accident that you did the first two stunts. But gasp, great Scott, I just noticed a terrible bone, <laughs> boner. Yeah, back then, that word meant mistake, back then. There's, um, there's a comic where Joker 
says um, Boner constantly. There's there's a comic where he, I'm not sure what, what which one it is, but yeah, Joker says that word constantly. In these old, in this like an old fifties one, and I'll be blamed for it. I'm in charge of the building design. They, they, they left holes out of the Swiss cheese building exhibit. Hmm, you're right. Seconds later, I'm ruined. The cheese manufacturers will become the laughing stock of the exhibit. I gasped. Green Arrow, what are you doing? Twang. Rescuing you from an embarrassing situation, Sloan. Remember the wizard archer's drill arrows that res rescue the entombed entomb miners? Well, we're drilling holes into your Swiss cheese building to rescue you from a costly mistake. Rrr. Presently. Thank goodness the public isn't admitted till noon. The maintenance crew will f put the finishing touches to those holes you drilled. How can I thank you enough? By giving the wizard archer credit for a very practical stunt. The next day at All-Star Comics. Yes, Bill Nixon's wizard archer is just what we need. Logical and not a bit or unbelievable. Spill. Hereafter, tune out down that imagination. We might not always match your character's tricks. That day will never come for the true wizards of archery. So, the end. I don't know, maybe Bill Finger wrote this story, so that's why the guy's name is Bill, he got the same name, I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, they'd be appreciated. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.